The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hi everyone. It's so good to be back with you again. It's just amazing how the days, the weeks and the months of this extraordinary year roll on. For Tam and me, it's not been particularly difficult and we've settled into some kind of a routine. It's not the same as before. And there's a lot that we are missing. Not least of that being at church with our community of friends. But we are coping and certainly we've had time to rest, time to get things done that have been put aside during busier times. And we've had time to spend more time thinking about life in general and our relationship with God and spending more time with him. If you've been watching my midday prayers with any kind of regularity, you will know that I've often turned to the Psalms for both solace and inspiration. And today, <coughs> today's Psalm once again speaks to me as I grapple with all the injustice in the world and particularly in this country. In his sermon yesterday, Ian spoke about how this pandemic has helped lift the lid on the seething cauldron of poverty and social injustice, which has been simmering away forever. And it's only just below the surface. Poverty and unemployment are going to be enormous issues in post-COVID South Africa. But instead of all pulling together to make plans to deal with it, our politicians continue to play power politics and many of our leaders remain corrupt. I think many of us are worried about the future of this country and each of us will have our own concerns about what is going to happen to us and to our loved ones. Sadly, one of our very elderly parishioners phoned me last week to tell me that her residential home had just put up the rates so much that she can no longer afford to stay there. In her 90s, she must move again. I felt and I'm still feeling such pain for her. Life is not going to be easy. Psalm 5 speaks directly into this situation. In a way, it's a kind of prelude to Psalm 37 that we had last Friday. So here it is, Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sighing. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. You are not a God who takes pleasure in evil. With you, the wicked cannot dwell. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men, the Lord abhors. But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house in reverence. Will I bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make straight your way before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with destruction. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongue they speak deceit. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favour as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, 
and will be forever. Amen. In this psalm, David is asking God to act against evil people and protect the good. I know it's a bit simplistic to divide the world into good and evil people. We are all capable of both. But certainly we can be divided into those who follow Jesus and those who don't. And that thought sent me to Jesus and the Gospel reading. So let's listen to the good news proclaimed in Luke's Gospel, chapter 6, reading verses 6 to 11. Glory to Christ our Saviour. On another Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and was teaching, and a man was there whose right hand was shriveled. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal on the Sabbath. But Jesus knew what they were thinking and said to the man with the shriveled hand, Get up and stand in front of everyone. So he got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? He looked around at them all and then said to the man, stretch out your hand. He did so and his hand was completely restored. But they were furious and began to discuss with one another what they might do to Jesus. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law are trying to trap Jesus, but he is not to be cornered and he is not afraid. He does what is clearly right. He heals the man's crippled hand, even though it is the Sabbath. Right will overcome wrong. Good will overcome evil. Satan may be in control of the world for now, but Jesus has already overcome him. The prayer of Psalm 5 has already been answered. God is in control. Jen spoke on Saturday about leaning on God, and yes, we can lean on him. He is strong, he is in control, and he will look after all those who love him and follow him. And that doesn't mean that there won't be tough times ahead. But as long as we turn to the Lord, he will give us strength to cope and he will give us hope for the future. Turn your worries into prayers and remember the words of another psalm, Psalm 91. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find <coughs> refuge. His faithfulness will be your, your shield and rampart. Trust in God. Place your hope in God and he will keep you safe. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, how good it is to know that we can turn to you in prayer and that you hear our prayers. Thank you that you provide safe haven for each of us. We realise that there will be tough times ahead for our country, for each one of us. And so we pray that you will give us the strength and courage to cope with whatever may come in the future. Lord, with you in our lives, we know that we can look forward with hope and that we can trust in you. We can trust in your unfailing goodness. That we know that you love us. Lord, we are also so aware of and grateful for all the wonderful things you give to us now, that you not only provide for us, but give us the beauty of your world for us to enjoy. Life in you is so good, Lord. 
even when it is tough. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray the COVID collect again today. God, bless the world. Give it wisdom at this time. Grant us relief and release. Be with those who are ill and bless the carers fighting this pandemic. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And let's pray the prayer for Africa. God bless Africa. Protect our women and children. Transform our leaders. Heal our communities. Restore our dignity and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And that peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love and for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. And so... Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. Love you all. Keep safe. Goodbye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One